Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning again everyone Today we will be um, getting the factors Or we will be discussing Okay, how to factor the difference Of two squares Okay, so firstly po Let's discuss po muna Ano ba yung difference of two squares So from the name itself Na ating topic is You will have the difference or may may kita ang subtraction ng dalawang square. And when we're talking about square in mathematics, eh, especially in algebra, we are talking about numbers with the exponent of 2. So, ibig sabihin, lagi kang magkakaroon ng dalawang square and meron silang difference or subtraction nila. Okay? I hope you got that. So, ano-ano ba yung mga samples ng mga gantong given? Firstly, syempre nga, meron tayong number and then the letter. Okay? So, for the number part, dapat ang tinatawag ang given nyo would be a perfect square number. Ano na ba yung mga perfect square numbers? We have 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on. So, how do you get that? Multiply nyo lang each counting number twice to itself. So, for example, 1 times 1 is 1, um, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, and so on. Okay? 4 times 4 is 16. Okay? So, yun lang po yung mga perfect square number. So, yun lang po yung isang unang ano po, um, requirement po natin para ma-consider natin siya na under ng difference of 2 squares or kung siya ba ay solvable under difference of 2 squares. Okay? Yun yung for the number. Now, as for the letter, ang kailangan lang po natin is dapat yung letter na binigay sa'yo is not necessarily 2 but divisible by 2. So, ito, x squared, okay, divisible by 2 to. Yung 6 divisible by 2. Yung 4 divisible by 2. And yung 10 divisible by 2. So, yun lang yung tanging requirements natin para ang ating given is consider for the letter part, ah, para makonsider siya under the difference of 2 squares. Dapat po, ang, di ang exponents is divisible by 2. Okay? So, first, let's have an example po. Say, we have x squared, Minus 4. Okay? So, firstly, ito pong given natin na una, it's a square. Why? Because may exponent na 2. And this one is a square kasi siya ay under ng PSN or perfect square numbers. Okay? So, yan po. So, this one is of course, yes, difference of 2 squares. Now, the example. Um, say we have x squared minus y squared. Difference of 2 squares, yes, kasi pareha silang may exponent na 2 or divisible by 2. Another example, um, 4x squared minus y raised to 6. Difference of 2 squares? Yes. Kasi po, ito yung 4, PSN or perfect square number, may exponent na 2, may exponent na divisible by 2, and so on. Okay? I do hope you got that. Okay? And lastly, let's uh, have something more complicated. Say we have um, x squared y raised to 4 minus 9, Z, 6, um, say W raised to 10. Okay, still, same. Perfect square number, yes. Divisible by 2, yes. Divisible by 2, divisible by 2, and divisible by 2. So again, if the number is a PSN, perfect square number, and, it is div and the exponents are divisible by 2, and you see that there is a difference between the two terms, then it's under DTS. So now, what are the rules? Ano ba yung rules natin when it comes to um, factoring this? Dalawa lang po. The first rule po natin is you have to get the square root of the two terms. Kukunin mo lang po yung square root ng two terms. And lastly, ang gagawin mo is you just need to get the product of their sums of their sum and difference. Kumbaga, ang gagawin mo, kung ano man yung sagot mo sa number 1, i-add mo lang sila at isusubtract at pag multiply mo sila. But then again, do not evaluate, just simply put them together. So, what do I mean by that? So, for you to better understand, let's provide you with an example. Sample number 1 po, x squared minus 4. Again, the first rule. 
you get the square root of the first term and the square root of the second term. Okay? Ang square root po ng letter or the variable is you just have to take the letter again and divide the exponent by 2. It's always by 2. So, yan ay 1. And in mathematics, we don't write 1 anymore. Then, the square root of 4 is 2 or positive 2, the principal root. And then, rule number 2, you just have to put them together by multiplication. x plus 2 is sum. x minus 2, difference. Okay? I hope you got that. Next example. x squared minus y squared. Okay? Same rules po. Wala pong magbabago. What we need to do is we need to get their square roots. Which is x and x, uh, and sorry, y. And then the next one is we need to get their sum and differences. And you have to multiply them together. And x minus y. Okay? So, itong dalawang to, i-add nyo lang, tas isusubtract nyo lang, tapos, pagtabihin nyo lang. Hindi nyo po kailangan i-multiply itong dalawa. Okay? No need to multiply. Okay? And next one po, example, is we have 4x squared minus y raised to 6. Magbabago po ba yung rules? Hindi po. Okay, so rule number 1, we take the first term, we get the square root. We take the second term, we get the square root. And ang square root po ng 4 is 2, ang square root ng x squared is x. And since ito, class, is 6, and it's divisible by 2, you divide it by 2. So, you take the letter, divide it by 2, and rule number 2 is just simply put them together under multiplication and get their sum and difference. Okay? I hope that is easy enough for you. And last one po. We have x. It's a little bit long, so I have to go back and forth. 9z6 and w raised to 10. Same rules po guys, same rules. So we will have x squared, y raised to 4, square root, and the square root of 9, z raised to 6, w raised to 10. Okay? And then the same po, same rules. Kapag may number, square root. Pag may um, letter, divide your exponent by 2. x, y squared, and 3z cubed, w raised to 5. Okay? And you ha simply have to put them together. Okay, let me move this a little bit. Okay, this is x y squared ma plus three z cubed y raised to five, and we have x y squared minus three z cubed and y raised to five. So if any one of you will ask, sir, pwede po bang balik tarin yung plus and minus? Yes po. Bakit po sila pwede pagbalik tarin? Kasi it's the same. Remember po, ang 2 times 3 is equals to 3 times 2. So, the same goes dito. Okay? Kung ito yung 2 at ito yung 3, pwede mong pagbalik ta rin. Ang tawag po doon is the commutative property. At ang sabi sa commutative property is this. Pwede kong pagbalik ta rin yan. x y squared minus naman 3z cubed w raised to 5 and then we have xy squared plus 3z cubed y w raised to 5 the same lang po yung sagot niyan it's interchangeable po pwedeng pagbalik ta rin okay so i do hope you got that it's quite easy lang po ang pag um, fa factor ng difference of two squares um thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh